in my video about installing Node.js on Ubuntu, I installed Ubuntu on Hyper-V. So you might ask me, how can I install Ubuntu on Hyper-V? Because you want to practice installing Node.js on Ubuntu. Sadly, there is a requirement. You should use Windows 8, 8.1, or 10, or above. Or you should use Windows Server 2008, 2012, or 2006, or above. Because Windows 7 doesn't support Hyper-V. If you use Windows 7, you should use VMware Player. If you use one of these OSs, you can use Hyper-V to install Ubuntu. Okay, let's get started. First thing you should do is to enable Hyper-V. Right-click Windows button here and click Control Panel. And then click Uninstall a program. Finally, click Turn Windows feature on or off. You can find this Hyper-V in the list. Check this and click OK. If Hyper-V was not enabled and you, you enabled it now, you should reboot your computer. Reboot it now. Next thing you should do is to download Ubuntu. Type in ubuntu.com on the address bar of your web browser and and click download desktop. If you want to practice with server OS, you can download it from server and click download. It says that how much you want to contribute to Ubuntu. Well, you don't have to contribute. If you have money, you can contribute, but you don't have to. I contribute zero dollars and downloaded Ubuntu. I started downloaded. As you can see, it's 1.4 gigabytes, so it can take a few minutes or even hours. So I use Ubuntu I downloaded before. The next thing you should do is to open Hyper-V Manager. Open Windows menu and scroll down until you see Windows Administrative Tools. Click it and you can find Hyper-V Manager. Click this. Next thing you should do is to create Virtual Switch. So click Virtual Switch Manager. Click external virtual switch and name this. I'll use just default name, new virtual switch, and click OK. And it gives us a warning, but just ignore it and click yes. I failed to create virtual switch because I already have one. So, but you might not fail because it's your first time creating it. Next thing you should do is click New Virtual Machine and create our virtual machine. Click Next. I'll use the name Ubuntu 2 because I have Ubuntu. And I'll check this, store the virtual machine in different location. Because my C drive is SSD drive and it has only 120 gigabytes. So I don't want to save my Hyper-V machine in this precious storage. So I clicked Browse and I went to D Drive, Machines and Ubuntu 2 folder. I select a folder and click Next. You should specify generation. If you use generation 2, it can cause problems. So you should use generation 1. Click Next. You should assign memory. Well, I should assign 4 gigabytes. Because I have 32 gigabytes in my PC, so it isn't that much. Use as much as you like. Ne click Next. In this page, we are going to set up inter internet for our virtual machine. Choose virtual switch we created before and click it. If you leave the field that's not connected, 
your virtual machine is not connected to the internet and you cannot download Node.js from the server and click next. We'll create a hard, hard disk. I like the path and I'll change it the size to 20 gigabytes. And next, we are going to install operating system. So check this install operating system from a bootable C CD or DVD ROM and click this image file and click browse. And check the Ubuntu ISO file from the list and click open and click next. You can see this list and click finish to finish. The next thing you should do is to click start and connect. Star means to turn on your computer and connect is to connect to it. I will choose language English and click and press enter. And I will choose install Ubuntu and press enter. Okay. All we need to do is click continue and click continue. And get install now and click continue. And I live in South Korea, so my time zone is all. So I'll leave it as is and click continue. And I use US keyboard and click continue. And I fill this field as and the installation process will be started. It will take a few minutes or even hours. Long wait is done and installation is complete. We need to restart our virtual machine. Click this restart now button. It says that we should remove the installation medium and press enter. And click media and DVD drive and it is ejected. So just click the screen and press enter. But sadly, nothing happens. So we should turn off the power of the virtual machine and turn it on again. Let's shut it down. Close the window and right click the virtual machine and click turn off and say OK. Ubuntu 2 is turned off. And let's turn it on again by clicking start here and let's connect it. Like many other computers, we need to wait. But we enter the Ubuntu desktop safely and successfully. You can open terminal with typing in terminal here. And you can do whatever you want with this terminal. When you want to turn it, turn off your virtual machine, click this save button or click this power button on the top right side and click shut down. And click shut down to turn off the Ubuntu. But you have to the window separately and it is turned off safely.